Hey guys, this is an Epson Workforce WF2630 printer that I want to show how to remove a printhead out of. Um, this is very similar to WF2530, 2540 printers. Uh, I think the ink cartridges are different in there, but the printhead should be the same. So in order to start first, we need to move the carrier over to this position where it's free. So we're just going to tell the printer that we want to change out the ink cartridges and we're going to press start and when that moves over there we're going to unplug the printer from the um, outlet so our printer is off now we can move this carrier with the print head and the ink cartridges freely let's remove the ink cartridges okay what we're going to need is a flathead screwdriver and a phillips head screwdriver the next step we need to do is find the uh, screw on the back over here. We need to remove it so we can have easier access. Um, it's not very necessary, but it's going to be a little bit hard to get in there, especially for me making the video and showing you this. But um, that'll allow this top portion of the printer to just rise. the screw, dry, screw out of there and um, as we raise it we're going to be able to just pop it off like this here um, be careful um, there's a clip on this side sorry it's not really a clip it just moves to the left here like so and then we can just raise this top cover like this be careful not to break any of these wires right here so just gently kind of set it like this um, and that should be enough area uh, enough access for us to remove the print head so the next step that we need to do is remove this board the chip board right here so in order to do that we need to remove this cover right here you can use a flathead screwdriver just push this out there we go it's just a little cover right here um, now we have wiring right here you can just remove it gently like so same thing this one in the back here there we go Okay. For the next step, we're going to need something like this here, um, either a very small screwdriver, uh, flathead, or this um, needle-like tool. And there is, on, on the very top right here, you will see that there's clips, so you just push it, and that should release the chipboard, and same thing on this side. Okay, so it's, it's up here, right under that wire there, and that allows this chip board to be removed. Here we go. We already disconnected it with this. This one connects into there. At this point, we just need to remove the three screws that we see right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we should be able to just remove the print head. Here we go. Since we already disconnected it from the bottom there, this is to um, basically just ready to go. So this is the print head right here that we see. And putting it back together is pretty simple after you clean it. Check out our video on how to clean it. Usually just attaching a tube with syringe um, to flush it works out um, so you're just going to put it in like this here with the sticker towards you when you are all done cleaning or if you're replacing with a new one sometimes they fail so keep that in mind um, 
sometimes people change something out and it, it's just going to give them an error and that doesn't mean that necessarily the print head needs to be cleaned again it usually means that it needs to be replaced so we're going to put the screws back so we have the screws back in there there's three of them then we're going to set this chipboard in there just like that Just clip in there. Give you like this. Um, and then we're gonna connect the, the wiring. Okay, so with this small wire, make sure you connect it in there into that small connection there. If it's out, sometimes people may connect it wrong, like shove the cord right behind it and think that it's connected, but it's not. Um, use a flashlight, just make sure it goes into that connection port. It shouldn't be too hard. So I got that connected. Then we're gonna take this here and it goes like that you can see how um it's bent this way so this is how it's gonna go like this here and we're gonna connect it to the bottom a little bit harder to do that one i'm sorry i'm not giving you the shot of it so you can see where the connection is right here also make sure you connect properly right into the print head like I said, the, the flashlight helps with this. I'm not sure where mine is, but let's try to get that in there. Okay, looks like we got it in there. Um, and let's not forget about this piece right here. The cover. So it goes like this here. right above and it should snap in there like, like so here we go so we're we're done replacing the print head and that's pretty much how it's done let's put the cover back in so again very gently lower it put it into the left side first there we go and then we're going to put it on this here and then close it and put the, the screw back in there. So the whole process is only four screws. The black one goes right here. And the three um, silver screws, they go where the print head is to uh, hold the print head down. Okay, so I turn the printer on and uh, just wait for the printer to tell you to put the ink cartridges in. In my case, it seems like everything is connected properly. Um, if it gives you some sort of error, that usually means the, uh, the error that you didn't have before you tried the replacement. That usually means that you, you didn't connect something right. Um, so I'll recheck that. Just open it up and see if... And then another thing is, like I said, you don't need to remove the top in order to get to the print head. You usually can get to it with the top on just cover open as if you were changing ink cartridge so um in my case it's asking for the ink cartridges go ahead and pull those put those in and see how well you did the job of cleaning or replacing and uh wishing you the best with your project thank you for watching uh please like this video share subscribe comment uh, we would really appreciate it have a wonderful day thank you